Agnes! Agnes! It's Emily from home care. Oh, hi, sorry, sorry, love. I didn't hear you. I didn't know that someone is coming today. I'm Emily from Home Care. I called and spoke to you last week about an appointment today. Oh, I didn't put it on my calendar. You know, with these troubles with my house, I am much, much worse than I was. And now I'm, I'm looking for my husband. Are I'm you packing? Fine. Yes, I do. My daughter said that we have to sell. We can't pay mortgage. Oh. I'm not happy about it because John loved this house. Oh, okay. The payments are very difficult for us. She lost her job mm. and her porkies. Mm. Oh, hi Lucy, how are you? Oh, I didn't realize you were coming in today. I'm fine. We're fine. Mom's fine, aren't you? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Agnes, have you got your new hearing aids? Oh, Mum doesn't like to use them. No, Do I... Do you, Mum? Yes, yes. Mum's fine. You're fine? I'm fine. I'm really fine. Agnes was saying she has to sell the house. Where will she move to? Um... <laughs> not that is any of your business, but she'll be moving in with me. Can't you see she can't be here by herself anymore? Now, I'm... I'm here today, so I'll, um... I'll look after Mum. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes, families find themselves in difficult circumstances and it's hard to know what's okay and what's not okay. Financial abuse is one form of elder abuse and it may or may not be easy to recognise. Financial abuse involves the illegal or improper use of a person's finances, promising to give an older person with dementia lifelong care in exchange for money or property. Maybe what members of a family have agreed, or it may be financial abuse. As with all cases, the best line of action always begins with a conversation with your supervisor about what you've seen. Take notes of any concerns you have so you can be accurate. The next step in a situation like this is to have a conversation with Agnes. Agnes has rights and is still capable of making her own decisions. This conversation should take place with Agnes on her own and in a place where she feels safe to talk. For instance, Agnes's home may not be a safe place if Lucy could arrive at any time. Establish if Agnes wants to sell her home and move in with her daughter. She has every right to do this, but it would be wise for Agnes to get independent financial and legal advice before making any decisions. One factor that should be discussed is Lucy's gambling. We notice that Agnes refers to the pokies and there seems to be substantial evidence that bills aren't being paid on time. We could refer Agnes for financial counselling through Centrelink, My Aged Care, or a community financial counsellor so that Agnes has all of the information she needs to make an informed decision. There are laws and rules about gifting assets that could have an impact on both Agnes and Lucy's financial situation. It would be important for Agnes and Lucy to seek separate and independent legal advice to help understand their own situation. Agnes may also wish to discuss enduring power of attorney with a legal professional to make sure that her financial and legal rights are protected in the future. There are services that provide free legal advice. Financial elder abuse often occurs alongside psychological abuse, with the older person denied the opportunity to make choices and decisions. This type of conflict can have an impact on the whole family. The next step we would recommend is to talk with Agnes about whether she would like to talk with someone about her concerns, as well as understand what her options are. If Agnes agrees, it could also be possible to refer for family mediation and counselling. Sometimes you can resolve issues within the family, especially if everyone knows their rights. In other instances, family relationships do break down. If you need more information or would like to speak to someone about someone you care for, please call the Elder Abuse Hotline, 1800 Elder Help, 1800 353 374, and you will be directed to the relevant service in your state. <laughs>